In today's video we're going to talk very much about a drill and an exercise that we tend to see all of professional golfers doing and I would say it's the big thing that amateur golfers don't get. So I think it's very important that we spend a bit of time explaining why we tend to see pros do the same sort of drill and what it is that you're missing out on. So a couple of popular ones first, Rory McIlroy. Rory McIlroy we will see do an exercise where he'll place his hands on the club about shoulder width apart, he'll turn his trail hand under as I'm demonstrating like so and then from here we'll kind of see him do a pump drill where he'll very consciously just try and drop his arms down. Pete Cowan, a very well-known golf coach, coached lots of elitists, major winners, kind of talks about very similar principles inside his golf coaching and we see lots of variations of this where Tommy Fleetwood and other tour pros will often use things like an alignment stick to the side of them again to try and get the feeling of dropping their arms and tracing it down towards the side of you. So what is it that they're doing and why they have to focus on that and, and, and amateur golfers are getting it wrong? Well the, the big thing you see that is happening with a professional golfer okay which is a big difference between you know the amateur golfer is they are obviously moving much better through the golf ball. Okay, so when a professional golfer is hitting the ball, they're doing a couple of things. They're moving very much down, okay, so they're moving down and towards their lead side, and they're rotating through the ball. Now, both of these movements, down and through, give you the ability to get the club to hit down, okay? And that's what you're looking for. So you wanna be moving that club sort of down and across the ball to get good contact. Now. What happens though, and this is a positive thing, if we're going to try and strike down on the ball, what happens in golfing terms, and this is what I've flagged up here on my flight scope, this is known as, on flight scope, it's known as our horizontal plane. With inside TrackMan, it's known as our swing direction. So what that means is even though I'm aiming at that target, that 150 yard marker in the distance, my sort of body is moving the club 3.7 degrees to the left of it okay so I'm moving that club slightly to the left and the way it's doing that is because like I say I'm moving down and I'm rotating through now when that happens okay what will happen is you can now notice the way if I start to move aggressively with this sort of motion you can see the way my hands and arms start to move out in front of me so what a pro will do is they will consciously try and push the club down to counteract that movement to the left and that is what you are seeing with all of these variations of tour pros. The reason why all of them are using something to the side of them is not because they have an inability to keep the club on plane, realistically. It's not because they don't understand plane. It's because they're so assertive and aggressive with their movement to the lead side that they need to feel the, the, the sense that they're going to straighten the arm to drop the club to the side of them so they can still control their club path and avoid coming over the top. And that is the thing that amateur golfers just don't get. So most amateur golfers end up sort of, should we say, moving off the ball, leaning back and swinging very much in this sort of direction towards the right. And this lends itself to sort of scooping actions and flicking and lack of compression. And what you want to be doing is you want to be focusing very much on turning more down and through the ball and then getting the feeling of dropping your arms down towards the side of you as you initiate the downswing very much the same as to what you tend to see with McElroy. So to very briefly summarize, the best way for you guys to practice this is to become very aware. And again, like I say, this is something that I teach with all of my students is to become very aware of a stretch. And the stretch that you wanna have is as I move my chest towards the target, as I shift it towards the target in a rotational manner, that's gonna move my shoulder and it's gonna move my shoulder obviously progressively to the target. And as my right hand is gonna be applying pressure down towards the floor as I'm demonstrating here, that will create a nice stretch under your arm. And if you are getting that stretch, then you know you are moving correctly. If you are not getting that stretch, that's because you are moving incorrectly. And practice that. And the way you can do it is you can do it with McElroy's drill. Okay, you can go straight back to where we started this video, but instead of doing this, right, pointless, okay, because all you're doing is just throwing the club into the ground, it won't lend itself. You want to try and turn to the lead side as you drop it down, and then you should feel a pull under your knee arm, and I promise you, it'll change your game forever. See you soon.